ברוך השם, תורה מ"ז, ליקוטי מוהר"ן, 47, and Rabbeinu is waking us up from inside, the real roots of our soul are, are waking up. When a person is doing tshuva, so he's like, he's shaking branches, he's moving the branches, and then all of the tree moves. You pick one fruit from the branch, from the thinnest branch of them all, you pick a leaf, all of the tree is being affected by that. If you really want to do tshuva, if you really want to, 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 to affect the world, so just focus on your own tshuva, do things to, to really to, to dig into the roots of your own soul, and by doing that, you, you're going to pull purification, purity, light of, 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 of good, of kindness, awakeness to the, to the rest of the, the, the branches, and you're going to see a huge change in the world. We need to believe in that. If today I'm finding myself talking in every class to, to, to thousands of people, and I know myself, who am I? I? I remember where I started. I was wearing the uniform of the IDF, I was a soldier, not in, in Tzva Hashem, in Tzva Haganah Israel. And I was searching suddenly for God. Suddenly I felt like something is going on here, and hey, and look, and what's going on, and conversations with people in the army brought me to think about my life and 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 today Rav Dror is teaching and guiding and shiurim and people where can I meet the Rav how can I find the Rav can I please speak with the Rav who am I I, I, I still play with my yo-yo in the house when I'm when I'm home alone when my kids are not all over me I'm playing with my Duncan yo-yo Face it. We're on Facebook Live. You're not going to face it. Face the truth. Who are you? David Amelech, he was, he was reminding himself on, on, the, on, on his, his shepherd's bag. His, there's a story on, on that righteous man that, um, what was the name? He was a rabbi. It was a famous rabbi. I don't remember one of the Sfaradim rabbi. I don't remember all of the details of that story, but um, but um, but there was a very very fair, um, righteous man and um, a Jewish man and the king of of that Arabic nation that they lived uh, somewhere. Um, he appointed him to be his minister or something. He appointed in charge on the on the money on the fine financials whatever. And, he became to be very successful over there, and he went very, very rich, and and, uh, and there was another person, a, a minister, that he was uh, anti-anti-anti-anti-shemi, anti-anti-semite, anti-life, anti-tetanus, and he and he wanted to damage that Jewish minister, and, and so he was following him and looking, trying to find something to scam, to say something about him. And he saw that he had a private room, and every day he would go and enter into that room and locking that room. So he was sure that, of course, uh, all of his lies, he's hiding his lies, and all of the money that he's stealing in that room, and. So one day he went after him and, and break into that room and he saw that there is a there is a a, a a bag a shepherd bag or something a staff that he something poor and and uh, and, and old and uh, and and a small chair so he didn't know what's going on those weird Jews, what, what are they doing? Their black ma magic all of the time with their staff opening the sea. So uh, he caught that Jew and he asked him, that minister, what are you doing here? So he said, that's my old shepherd bag and that was my staff before I had been appointed to, to be the advisor, the minister of the king. So. That's who that I was. I was very poor, and I was uh, I was just a simple person, and I'm reminding myself every day, every day where I came from, 
and I'm doing it every day for an hour. I'm sitting and I, I'm wearing my old cloaks and, and putting my bag and holding my stand. And I'm just reminding myself where I came that I won't be arrogant, that I'm not going to think to myself like, look what I achieved, where I, where I came from. Like the, the Mishnah is saying you need to remember where you came from. And where are you going to? To a place of warm, under the ground, under the earth. Remember who you are. Okay, you have a holy soul, wonderful. God is giving you wisdom, great. God is helping you. You have a lot of success. You're rich, you're handsome, you whatever. It's all gifts, free gifts from Hashem. Really, to receive the wisdom of the Torah, it must come mimidbar matana from the desert as a free gift. Only if a person makes himself to be like the desert, that he feels that he is so 